Why does this rock have legs? Welcome back to Bug of the Week Part 17, brought to you by Little Dudes Insect Academy. As always, consider subscribing, dropping a like, maybe even leaving a comment below. Now, I do have one announcement for this episode, and that is that it is currently giving season. And if you weren't aware already, Little Dudes Insect Academy is a nonprofit foundation, and we do this and other um, entomology, insect educational things for kids, adults, everybody, um, both in person and online. And if you think that's awesome like we do, then consider um, going below and to our website and donating whatever um, whatever you're able, whatever you feel like, um, anything helps. $5 really helps. $1 really helps. It, it really, anything helps um, for us to get this message out there. So we're even starting a new group of kids, um, a new group of classes in the spring, and we're going to need, we need donations to cover the cost of supplies for that. So we're going to have 30 kids come for free, and they're going to do four different classes of bug pinning, bug collecting, bug preserving. They're going to build their own insect collection, and it's going to be really awesome. So we need donors for that. So if you feel compelled to give, go to our link below in the description. It'll be the top link to this in this episode, and you can give through that link, and it would help us out a lot. Um, so I, I'd really appreciate that. Okay, so enough with that. Let's jump right into this crazy bug. Consisting of about 14,500 species is the order of Trichoptera, or commonly known as caddisflies. Now, as is a common theme on this show, the common name of this insect is quite misleading, as the caddisfly is not even a fly. Interestingly enough, these insects can actually be found worldwide with greater diversity in warmer regions, as they often prefer warmer water, and I'll get to why that is in just a minute. Let's now get into the anatomy and characteristics of the caddisfly. Adult caddisflies can grow to be anywhere from 0.1 to 0.5 inches in length. So they're actually quite small. Interestingly enough, the caddisfly's anatomy more closely resembles that of a butterfly, which are still not their relatives, but share some similar characteristics. Caddisflies have two sets of narrow veined wings, which they use to fly, along with a pair of long, thin antennae. Fascinatingly, and this is actually quite rare, is that depending on the genus of caddisfly, the caddisfly will eat a great range of food. Some species are predatory and feed on other insects, while many other species are strictly herbivores and only feed on plant matter or vegetation. Now, caddisflies have a complete life cycle, meaning that they are born as larvae and at some point go through a metamorphosis and transform into an adult. And this is part of what makes these insects fascinating, their larval stage. As a larvae, these insects are actually strictly aquatic, meaning they live underwater in freshwater, lakes, ponds, and streams. Now, this is where this gets crazy. During this stage of life, they have the ability to spin silk, much like a spider, but except from its mouth. They use the silk to form sand, pebbles, sticks, and debris into a sort of shell like a suit of armor. Now, what's actually really fun about this is that caddisfly larvae have been even been found with pearls, gemstones, or precious metals implemented in their shells. They're really resourceful, and they'll use whatever they can find. Once the larvae has gone through a series of molts, they emerge from the water and molt into their final adult form, where they sprout wings and begin the second portion of their lives as an adult caddisfly. Another interesting fact about the caddisfly is that fossils of a likely relative of the caddisfly have been found and dated back to the Jurassic period, which is crazy to think about. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did making it, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, dropping a comment as well, and tuning into our other, you know, 16 other episodes of Bug of the Week that I have posted in the playlist below on the channel. Also, like I said earlier, it is giving season, so if you'd feel led to donate to help these videos happen, that would be absolutely fantastic. If not, no big deal. But with that, I will see you all next week. Keep on bugging.